2020 was a big year for house pets and adoptions of dogs and cats. And now we are taking a look at how that spike is impacting animal shelters specifically today. New tonight, our Noah Kaplan found shelters were pretty crowded, but that may be stemming from a problem we see every year. Noah, what'd you find out? Well, Tom and Caitlin, earlier this week, one Rochester resident came across a litter of dead kittens going to Facebook. The footage was too graphic to show, blaming the pandemic for the lack of dogs and cats being spayed and neutered and shelters being overrun. Today, I spoke to two different rescue groups about the problem. More dogs, more cats, and fewer getting spayed or neutered. The executive director of Camp Companion blames the perfect storm on the pandemic. Quote, COVID started a crisis in the prevention of homeless kittens as our veterinarians' practice of spay-neuter was not considered an essential service. This has been the beginning of a backlog in available surgery space. Because of the backlog of animals needing to be fixed, Michelle Kwan says she's worried shelters will be overrun due to an influx of new puppy and kitten litters. 2021, our efforts have been split between the 248 adoptable cats and kittens versus the feral population. And the executive director of Paws and Claws in Rochester says this influx of pets is not pandemic related. Rather, it's a seasonal phenomenon. It's really just a typical summer. It has nothing to do with COVID or anything like that. It's just, it's just we're busy. It's seasonal. It's breeding season, you know, for animals puppies and, and, and kitten season. Uh, so there is more litters of animals being brought to the shelter. Tanya Johnson says they can still offer help to people trying to return their pets. However, there may be a wait list. It's really busy time for us right now. So as long as they can hang on to the animal, just, you know, be patient with us and we will help as soon as we can. Johnson said she had not seen the photo of the kittens. However, both she and Quant both said people in the area should not be afraid to reach out to a shelter if they find a litter or a stray animal, in spite of it being a busy time of year. Back to you.